fact that they've stacked up, they've kind of allowed the enemy to default around. Dark goes into the back, doesn't left. necessarily spot anybody out. Oh, the last point, and oh, the right clicks up close and personal. Jesse Bosch gonna be good for two before he goes down. Neth finding that kill now, just gonna be two left alive versus four. Bazzi will find one before falling. Now just 45 HP in a dream, and that is not going to come to fear. <laughs> that's, that's the nice way I can put it. You're gonna feel bad. Wits is just gonna be sticking through with the Sheriff. Only spent a little bit to try to get a blast pack and a boom bot out. Fisker finds a very nice opening kill on the dispenser, just getting that rush up the ramp, catches him in the head, finds a second one. His dubstep swings just a little bit too wide. Just around the corner, though, is Jesse Bashi. Does have that judge in hand, waiting out around the smoke. Shifts over to the side, throws out a slow orb to try to stop up the enemy. Getting Ooh. in onto the site, and Fisker off screen is going to manage to find a third. There's Bash taken down. Zade finds the kill, and it's just Wits. He's got the judge, wants to try to push the envelope here. Gets right in on top of Fisker, will manage to find one. So now the flawless round is going to be off the table for the side of Crazy Raccoon. We'll see how much more damage Wits can get. Throws out the boom bot, it's going to shift his attention back towards heaven. You can see uh, that there is, of course, some value to be found out of a Sova here. Botsy is going to finish the round off with a headshot and a wit. Forward angle, the dubstep is taking at the ball. Man, there it is. Shot comes in. Uh, see what he wants to do off of this. There is that rolling thunder. He's going to dash ahead of it. It comes across. Manages to find one over by screens. Cloudburst covering him from the back angle. Manages to stay safe for now. Just hot on his left. heels. Manages to catch him with his rifle tucked away. This now does fall. 4v3. Trying to get their way out of heaven. They finally rotate around through the elbow, get into the back of the A site. Nice shot from Bazzi. Finds Dubstep in the head. Red's going to be coming out over in screens, but Munchkin presses in, manages to claim both. This is really nice work here by Fisker to get so deep with that rolling thunder, of course, from Neth. Gives him a great opportunity. Neth's going to find Borkum as well, trying to come in. Vitz, the last one alive. Not going to happen. It's going to be Bazzi. Points back from the defender side. So far, really loving this. A side. A little bit of extra space, so see if we can find some more blades here. There it is. Spots him. Eyes down. Manages to get him in three. Gets that reset. Looks for another, but Bazzi says no. Cuts him down with the Vandal, but there's the blind coming through. Nate will put the Sova in the ground. Now it's going to be a 3v2. Weapon advantage still going to be there for Grizzly Raccoon. As Ade manages to find Dispenser on the right rotate there. over towards the B side. Strikes him down. As Wits starting to aggress forward into this smoke. This is a very aggressive move, but they actually managed to find the kill. Neth goes down. Now it's all on Ade. 14 seconds remaining. The spike down just at the exit of the garage. The nade trying to buy some extra time. He spots one. The blast pack pushing him away. And Porkum with the recovered vandal finds knives. Instead, it ends up falling down to 30 HP. Munch. I could see that happening. Very well might decide to make that rotation. They do have a couple trap wires set up to spot that out in advance. Jesse Bosch gonna find Neth, and that coming is going to even more dire now for the side of Crazy Raccoon. It's a huge alert coming in from Dispenser right now. Yep. Making his way around the back. Maybe he won't even be needed. We'll have to just wait and see. There you go. Ade does manage to find one. Dispenser gets the kill. Sing a little bit longer. There goes the paranoia. Oh, there's a the paranoia there behind it. That's a lot of people. Oh, Flash. Manages Pork to find three. He's looking for the fourth, and he's got it. You but no, there's just going to be a tailwind, and oh boy, Fisker picked off. Jesse Bash is saying, no, I am not having none of that. Cuts down the entry. Munchkin will manage to find Wits, though. Borkum just going to be rotating away. Gets himself tucked across the left side. This time, though, doesn't know which target to pick. Ends up falling, and Jesse Bash not going to be good for the kill onto Nat as he tries to enter. Dubstep creeping forward. And despite the fact that Dispenser's the only one left, they still will go ahead and invest in the old death. They certainly want to make sure that they get this kill. We'll lose out on one. For a fairly similar setup as we saw from Team Liquid yesterday. Nice little lurk through there. A lot of that vision now going to be taken away from the side of Crazy Raccoons. They try to execute in onto the side. Wits is looking to anchor. Finds one. Blind comes out. He's going to let the paint shells go loose. Follows up with a second kill. He's now going to be looking for a little bit more. Turns away from the flash point. Can't quite get it over top of Neff. Ends up falling, and suddenly we have a 2v2 with a spike being planted. Rolling Thunder can be used on the back end of this to try and deny the defuse. Actually, we'll just go ahead and open with it. Gets the push out onto one. Orkham using the TP. Gets himself set up behind the map. Shot comes down from Neth. The lurk around the back. Gets him in the head. Now Munchkin has to push forward. Still just holds onto the operator. Orkham pulls away from it. Spots him in the shoulder. Gets a couple shots off. Damages him up. Tags him down to 16. One more shot and that'll be the finish. And Munchkin has to play this so patiently, so perfectly. Gets the tap. Gets the kill. Three for Orkham. Comes up. Push in heaven, which Hade is going for right now. 
Makes any noise, can just go ahead and turn around the corner. That's gonna be the paranoia flying out. Fisker finds two though. Jesse Bash and Borkham both gonna be taken down. Dubstep here on the site. Oh, somehow doesn't nail the shot. It's smattering of damage out. It's Munchkin and Neth have been tagged up. Fisker as well, but for the most part, this is looking like a very clean round from the side. The crazy raccoon. Dispenser wants to try to turn the tides though. Finds one as, as he lurks around the pack. Witten's gonna be dead on entry. Dispenser will follow soon. Trying to check out. See too Got much. Him. Dubstep turn in the corner. Peeks from screen. Finds Munchkin. Strikes him down. Three ults still available here for the side of Crazy Raccoon. Can oh, they God, utilize God. them? That's going to be the Rolling Thunder coming through. Now the Hunt and Fury finally going to be used. We'll see if Bassett can come up with anything. Into the back here at elbow is Fisker. Looking for one. Not too much of anything, but Dubstep actually collapses in on top of him. Manages to win out in that exchange. Vandal now going to be recovered. Borkum and Dubstep both alive versus Bazzi and Ade. Ade down to 33 HP. Spike. He's just sitting over in this corner. Dubstep's going to put it on the floor, though. Finds the eliminations. Looking for just a little bit more. Bazzi charging forwards. Looking for the elimination. But Borkum pushes out from above. Gets the headshot. And there you go. Out some really cheeky setups. It does feel like the Sova would at least lend itself to be a little bit better on the defender. So Cam goes out. That was the one right around the corner. Sends out a couple shots. Bazzi going to be taken down at the top of the ramp. Right defender's utility here. Adi and Munchkin are both on this B side. Wall going to go up. Should be a relatively... Oh, no. He's going to get aggressive on this. Munchkin sees him through the smoke. Gets one. Trapwire yet yeah, sets him up with the vision. Manages to find wit. However, Spike still going to be getting planted here. Dubstep just holding it down. The push comes in, but Dispenser has a perfectly timed peak from back sight. Catches Ade right in the side of the skull. And with 20 H, 28 HP, I think it might be done there for Nep. Yeah, Dispenser, gonna find four. I see a fair few people getting ready to push the site. Drop wire gonna be broken. Wits again, just blast packing himself into the back. He might have even slowed up a little bit. Let's get spotted. Bazzi, handle in hand, will find a nice headshot on the dubstep. Taking one down. Aftershock to further delay the plant. Spots Wits. This break comes in from the Spectre, and even at that range, Wits will get the better of him. Smash is lurking around inside of the nebula right now. Has to bring the spike in onto the side. Gravity Welt comes in, tries to pull them together, but Spisker goes for the push. He's just going to fall. 8 HP remaining for Neth. Munchkin going to be clipped in the skull as Dispenser finds yet another one. Neural Def nearly online for him. Not that he's going to need it in this round. Just Ade trying to do anything here. Spike planted. Any extra kills they could get, while it's helpful, the likelihood of them getting four in this round to try to turn the tide of it doesn't seem very good. This is going to be unbelievable difficult with eight health. I mean, you might get this one around the corner. Not even going to find that. Wits is ready for it. Broken through. There's the Astra. Gravity well on the other side. And and his mind is, is we know there's people behind. Forward camera. Spots out Wits. That's actually the Rolling Thunder crashing through. They're looking. They're trying to take him down. Dubstep, however. Ready. Watches the garage with that operator. It's a kill on the fist. It's going to be the Astra star to give him a little bit of cover potentially as well. Ball goes up. Wits leading the charge. Needs to try to clear the back sight. That's the action going to be taken down. Good kill from Dispenser. Cuts around. There's the Nero theft. Wits just going to be spraying away with the Phantom. That's the kill now. Munchkin. Player standing. Eliminated as well. Stuck there in hell. Push on the corner. Dispenser's good for the headshot. As he they just kind of get a free entry this time. Neth stuck in back B without anybody able to cover him or help him at all. Waiting. Just start sending some darts out. Starting to shift around. Seems like it's just going to be a solo entry into heaven from Dubstep. Oh, he just got Borkum there to back him up, I suppose. Blast packs come in, and Munchkin right side of the wall, but only managed to find one kill. Adi now going to be taken left. down. Wits finds that elimination. Two around by Alley, and look at this. Yep, Borkum, he's got the plant set up over at A. Nice little TP from him. Cheeky stop from Team Secret as they look to put an end to this first map. Push comes in, gets a couple shots in on the Fisker, takes him down to 17 HP. Jumps back across, stays safe, actually finds wow. Dubstep, and Wits goes down suddenly. This looks a little bit more winnable here. Dispenser's going to be setting up the cam. Shifts over, wants to look into heaven, but it's going to be a double approach from the side of screens. They have to be ready to clear this close angle from Borkum. Dark spots one, there's the finish. Bazzi manages to turn around, gets the headshot, but he's running low on time, and Dispenser won't give him the time of day. He's going to have one tucked away, just at the top of the sewer access. Fisker rushing forward. Jesse Bash going to fall. Nice shots there from Munchkin. Fisker comes up with two. Gets dubstep. Follows up for Wits. Just like that. It certainly are shifting. Crazy Raccoon with five members strong. So going to hold off Borkum and Dispenser now. 
See if they can get anything done. Yeah, this is good utilization of the utility to buy time here. And the Astra smokes with the, the breach utility. Just keep it going. That's going to lock it down. Munchkin finishes the job of 49. Obviously, no way to heal him up. They don't have a sky. Drone coming through. Get the dart into him. Blinds now coming through. Fisker again getting his entry. Spots just sprays away with the Spectre. Manages to come up with a kill, but it's going to be two on the return. Just finding one. Spencer moves in with the Frenzy. Finds another. Borkum puts Ade down. He's got a Marshall in hand. It's only loaded with one bullet right now. He's going to take his time. Put a couple more in. Shifts over. Grabs the Spectre. Gets himself situated. It seems like Neff is very well aware of his position. And there's the Nebula coming up. He rotates to the side, and Bork comes ready on the jump inside. High round coming in. Still going to be half armor out there for Fisker and Ade. Look at all this. I'm going to be stunned up for just a moment. Tries to run nice. across, but the spray is good. Neth. Over to C. Getting so much info. Yeah, they they might have suspected O Dubstep. Oh, goes for the push, but it's is good for the kill. But as he tries to rotate back, I get that bot set up on top. Dispenser says, nope. Clips him in the skull. Jesse Bash, however, does fall. That means that the C site is unoccupied. Five point out on the corner. Shots coming in. Wit's going to be good for one. Falls down 45 HP. Splash goes out. Looks for a target. Doesn't see anybody. He needs to try to clear that cubby. Nebula in the back. Dispenser's got just enough vision to spot one. Gets on it. Puts a little bit of damage out. And that's going to be the lockdown now available. Throws it back corner. Little sliver of space for Munchkin to tuck away in. The Rolling Thunder is going to be used as Net pushes nice. into the garage. Gets the Spencer now. It's Wits all in his lonesome. Tries to 84 HP, however. This has got to go well. Fisker dashing forward. Spots one. Cloud burst to try to cover. Fisker going to take a little bit of damage from Munchkin's shock dart. Tucked away over in short. Jesse Bash comes up with two. He's looking for a pit more. Can't quite get a third. Does end up falling. Fisker going to be good for one, but Wits and Borkum have arrived. Clear on this corner. Crazy Raccoon. Not like that. Oh, goodness. That is dangerous. You are playing with fire doing that against Dubstep. Does not connect. Rolling Thunder comes out to try to buy some extra time. Hunter's Fury coming across, but Jesse Fast replies. That is it, but now they need to push in. They're running out of time. 20 seconds remaining. Medusa makes his way forward. It's just on the outskirts of the gravity well. Bit of a daze out on to Borkum, but as that dissipates, he manages to find a kill. Two quick ones from Dispenser. Dubstep is making it hard to transfer your spray there. And poor Medusa just gets absolutely just isolated and taken out. Fisker, though, yeah. hitting some just disgusting shots while stunned up from the fault line even. Woo, clean it out. Now the garage is open, and now they have to respect that. Okay. Cutting across the side, support position from Jesse Fosh manages to find one, but Munchkin replies in kind with a nice little headshot. Rolling Thunder now going to be used. He only catches one. It's going to be Wits playing back inside of the link. Upstep still sticking around in sewer. Managed to find that elimination onto Medusa. Now they don't have that lockdown to try to utilize here in the round. Days is coming out. Ade moving forward. We'll the position. Look at this flank from the Spencer. Oh, spots him in the astral form. And Ade just doesn't have enough time to try to really stabilize and understand what's going on. It's struck down and now the rough tidings. Board net. Manages to find one. Got the fault line out onto the Spencer. Turn comes down. He's looking for the kill, but the Spencer. Strikes him down, three. Could he countering things with the right utility at the right time? The lockdown puts Crazy Raccoon in a horrible spot and boom, just gets swatted away. Oh, Fisker has just not been having a you good day run. today. Are they going to be thinking about the step? He they move, manage to trade it back, but he's a fighting two. That's going to be rather huge for them. Aftershock should clear the lockdown, and it does, and Wits just putting this round on his back. Says, I'll get rid of the Killjoy utility, I'll get rid of everybody. Borkum will snatch it away from him. Because he got the, the drone at the beginning. That's a that's a win every time for Dubstep. Okay, Munchkin. Oh, hell no. Managed to find one. Good spray through the wall. It's the wall bang there on the dispenser. He's been a very solid rock here for Team Secret when it comes down to clutching out these rounds. So getting him off the table, definitely a good look for them. Borkum, though, he's got an operator in the back of the site. Hunter Spear is going to come through to try to flush him out. Gonna get tagged up once, manages to avoid the last one. Now Hunter's Fury coming in to try to apply some extra pressure against the side of Crazy Raccoon. Porkum manages to swing wide, gets yet another pick before Fisker takes him down. Hunter's Fury finds one, which will get another, and it's the last round, so why the hell not? Pops the Rolling Thunder, sees Munchkin in the corner. What a thrifty. The turret really turned the tide, but... <laughs> Oh, getting that first pistol would be huge. And Spencer, a little bit of a whip there at the beginning. Still manages to stabilize for one. But Fisker will trade back. One exchange, turn away Borkum. All the crazy raccoons here. Stay alive. Yeah, they're just all piled up what into the this? garage. 
Jesse could already have that spike planted, and Dubstep is just shutting them out one by one. Dart goes forward, shows that somebody's waiting inside of the Nebula. Four members strong versus two, Medusa and Fisker. Can they do anything at all? They've already taken a significant amount of damage as well. Fisker down to about half HP. Shots flying through, and there you go, Dubstep cleans it up, boy, Crazy Raccoon, if you want to live up to that first word in your name, do something wild, do something unexpected, and do it right the hell now! I am begging you! I know, I know, dude. I'm worried they're more living up to the Raccoon name, where they're dumpster diving here. I <laughs> just... <laughs> had that one going into the stratosphere. What in the world?! One of the slowest starts I've ever seen. On the roof? I don't know. Either way, is it bounce? Concealment. Need that back. I, like, I don't even care that Neth got a kill. I'm so fascinated. Where does this land? What? what? I don't even care what's going on in the screen. It okay. landed at the corner of A, a entrance. Okay. Well, back into the action we go. Jesse Bosch has gotten a kill. Munchkin, Munchkin taken down. We have a four v four. Workum and Neth planted. both similar on HP levels. A little bit of a bounce there coming through, trying to get a catch on anybody. Does not, but Spike has been planted, and Team Secret are in this to win it. Crazy Raccoon playing for the tournament lives right now. Need to run it back. Ten consecutive rounds. This would be the first step. Medusa's going to find one. Jesse Bot take it out. But Dubstep throws the knives, manages to find one. Can't quite get the second. Medusa is looking to keep them in the game. He goes for the push, but Borkum looking at hell with 20 HP. Finds the shot. They're so evenly matched as far as health is concerned. 20 versus 15. Borkum's got the hit.